Welcome my fabulous diamond painting fanatics, I'm Didi and thanks for joining me for another Didi Does Charms. Uh, I've had some practice since the last time and today we'll be making a charm with this bezel. Uh, and I will be using these nail art stickers to make a beautiful design in the middle. As a bright come round, I'm going to use this pearl white coloring powder. So let me open this little box. And I'm using the edge of a chopstick just to get a little of the powder on a piece of who can cover paper. I find that the sticky, well, the, the uh, waxy feeling of it really helps with uh, keeping everything off and it's easy to clean up afterwards. Um, should I do a little pink? Yes, I'm gonna use a tiny bit of pink just to give it a little bit more color. And when I say a tiny bit, I'm using this color. Just a tiny splash of pink so there we go I love these little boxes but the, the lid is so hard to get on there we go there we go so let me take my UV resin and just drizzle some drops in there so I can mix it up to make a nice backing for this bezel and I've been doing a lot of bezels so far and I'll show you some I've finished uh, or we can do that while we wait for the resin to set in the UV light. So I'm just mixing this up and because I'm not getting close to my uh, fingers, I'm not wearing my gloves, but trust me, I will be wearing those. And it makes this beautiful light pink. Can you see it? Gorgeous color. I think I need a little bit more resin to make it thin enough so I can spread it all around my bezel. There we go. Yes. So let's just mix this up. And the nice part of this paper is because it is non-stick the resin comes off easily and I'm trying to do it so you can see me pour it into the bezel This might get on my finger, so let me put on my gloves. I bought a whole box of gloves so I can protect my fingers while doing my charms because this stuff burns when it comes in contact with UV light, so don't want that to happen. And we 
will just spread this, spread this around my bezel to make it an even finish. When making a bezel with UV resin, um, I found that the curing time for this particular brand, uh, as I showed you in the previous videos, uh, it's about two minutes for it to set under the UV light. And the, the extremely nice part of this paper is that if you spread it out, and you leave some, it will make some nice drops so you can scoop up the rest. After a little while. Just to keep it that, give it that extra tiny bit of cover. But I think I might have gotten a little bit less than I needed to. So just a small drop of the clear resin and I'll mix it in with the pigments. And that way I can spread it out easily all the way to the edge. because we do want a nice and even finish to it. Uh, but you will keep a little bit of the swirls you make. And looking from the side, you can see the silver coming through, but looking straight ahead, also a bit. The other thing that seems to work very nicely to spread it out is just shake it a bit around and I tend to take in some little extras from the sides and press it back to the middle part just because the edges always seem to collect some of the resin And I do not mind if the silver shines through a bit. But as I said, you can easily swap off some of the excess from the paper. So there's hardly anything left on here. I think it looks good. Does it look good? I think it does. So a nice pale backing for this uh, very uh, nice bezel. So let me place this under my UV light. Just a little push and we'll start the timer at two minutes and then I can show you some of the bezels I've been making. So I've got this very nice one with the back is black glitter and then some snowflakes. I really like this one. Then I'm in love with this wooden bezel. It has a gold leaf for the in the back and in front some nice small flowers white flowers so that's very pretty 
I did this one with some broken shells. Uh, let me try to get it to look like white because it sh shows yellow in the in the frame, and I think it's because of the backing. But it is a gorgeous pearlescent white. Then I did this one. It is a black and pink, oh sorry, white and pink background with some nice pink flowers on it. And then I made this one as well. It has some broken shells with on top of it a UV resin with some small pink flowers embedded in it so that's nice of course when you do your gold stars you need some silver ones as well so i've got these gorgeous silver ones on a nice deep blue backing i've used some water decals as well so this is also a nice white can we show it to you? Yes, a nice white backing with a simple leaf in it. But we can move on with our bezel. So just some tweezers. It's hard. It is very hard. Um, and I have these nice decals. So let's make a little bouquet. I would like to take some some gray ones to the back and you can really feel these tweezers just the regular tweezers from one of my diamond paintings and they do not really want to pick up everything. Because the edges, of course, do not meet the way you want it to. So let me get this little flower over there as well. Let's place it in here. So you can see the flower pattern in the back. And I'll finish it off with some very nice darker flowers to the front. front. So those will go in the middle to cover up the rest and I might do a little flower at the bottom but we'll see uh, but I want some depth in this uh, bezel so let me just drizzle some clear resin on top of here just a thin layer so two drops might be enough smooth it out to the sides And it's quite hard to see whether or not you've covered all the edges properly. Because it is a very, very, very light and thin resin to work with. And it's I do love it. So I need a little 
little bit more. So there we go. Last time I tried to do three bezels in one video. And it was in, the, oh well I did two and it was a very long video and you saw me mess with all those little extra diamonds. What I always do is just pick it up and try to see if I left some parts uncovered, but I haven't. So I'll place this one in again. Let's give it a minute this time just to get it to set. And I used some of these flowers before. A smaller bezel with a silver background and then some nice purple flowers in the middle. I must say I like the gold snowflake one and the uh, wooden one very much. I think they, those are gorgeous. But uh, I'm still just trying to figure some things out and uh, yeah, just have fun with it. I might try to sell these on a, on a crafter's market, but I need to get a bit better at it. So I had it cured for a minute. Let's take these. Oh, there we go. Hmm. It doesn't do what I want it to do, so it's it's going to keep showing the other flowers in the back. So what I will do is just grab a darker flower, what's in half, place it down here. If it wants to go, come on, don't be shy, don't be shy. And then we'll do one at the top as well. So this layer is going to be a bit thicker. I must say I love these decals. I'm getting a whole bunch of them in the middle soon, I hope. My stash is growing because last time you didn't see me, I didn't have those nice uh, powders. I 
didn't have all these decals. Now I do. So, oh, sorry, bumped you. So this is what it looks like right now. And of course, I'll put a, a picture in the end. So I'm just going to check if it's nice and leveled. And I do see some little air bubbles in here. So uh, the lighter. And it takes away the air bubbles. Let me place this one in again. It's because it's a thicker layer I might need to do two minutes today for this one. What do you say? Should I do another flower or shouldn't I because I think it's I like it to be simple I think it's this is exactly enough I don't want it to be overpowering oh I think I have some nice silver glitter that I can use. Is it silver enough? No, it's light green. I do have silver somewhere. Mm, is this silver? Yes, this is silver. So I might do two little dashes of silver. to the top don't you just love how glitter get, gets everywhere except where you want it to go yes it does so I'll be using a little bit of this this is silver guys my light is just seriously doing something to it so I'll use a little bit of the silver glitter to the top. There we go. Just to give the top a little bit extra because I think it is extremely nice at the moment. Let me let me hit the light. And you might get the proper. Yeah, it looks better. It looks better. So there we go. It's, it's still turning out yellow. So nice. But you can see what it looks like. So let me grab my resin. So I can make a nice dome. And now this is a whole different playing field than the diamond paintings I usually do. I know, but it's such a nice way to work with my hands, 
make something unique because nothing I make is going to be the same. Just checking the top if it's nice and even, and it is. Yeah, and I do want a bit of glitter. Just some tiny specks. If it wants to come off, come on, come on. start being difficult right now I don't want that I just want some nice pretty silver glitter to be on the top I'm just spreading it out. There are just some little flakes of glitter in there. More than enough to make it stick out. And I'm just wiping down my tweezers with a little bit of paper towel. put a little droplets of resin on top of those glitters just to seal them in yes that's nice it's really nice and simple so there we go it will go into my uv lamp for three minutes something like that and uh, i'll show you the picture when i'm done i would like to thank you for watching i hope you liked it please let me know if you want to see me do more um, and if you did do uh, you can always send me a request about something you want to see or want to see me do you want to see me use more uh, spare drills or what do you want to see me do more with uh, nail decals just tell me I got so much of stuff that I'll uh, be happy to oblige so let me know in the comment in the comment section and uh, Give me a thumbs up 
hit the subscribe button. I do mostly diamond painting, but I will try to upload a charm video once every two weeks, something like that. So hope you like it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.